Hello and welcome to another update. In this one, we'll be covering the Solodar front real quick, and then we'll be looking at the temperature of the different front lines as there is significant development this Friday. So starting out in the Solodar front, we see it first of all that the Russians have managed to break through the Ukrainian defenses and have now reached the center of the Solodar city. And as we can see from the center and the east, they have reached the residential areas and have broken through the southern area. And there's fighting uh, going going around the train area of the Solitar area. And this indicates that Bakhmutska is most likely going to fall very soon, as the Russians have managed to capture most of what is east of it, which leaves it in a vulnerable position. And at the same time, they are pushing from the west towards the east of the city. So that's it for the Solodar front. In other news, the temperatures. Signing out, we'll be looking at the Saporizhia, then Bakhmut, then Le Mans, and finally Kiev. And all of them are very similar in the sense that starting this Friday, we can see here that the temperature goes into the negative. Actually, this Friday will go to negative 9, and then it will stay in the negative until as far as we can see from this seven day prediction. So also next Wednesday, it will be all be in the negative and it will start out in the two digit negative as well as a lot of sun, there's no snowing, which means that first off, we will see a lot of ice and then we will see the ground completely dry up. The Russians will then be able to conduct their offensive that they have been planning. At the same time, if we look at Bakhmut, we see here that will go to negative 13, negative 15 and it'll stay double digit negatives throughout the nights all until Tuesday. And in the Le Mans front as well, we see double digit negatives, negative 13, negative 15. So throughout the whole of next week, we'll see a lot of negatives, negative 11, and staying negative all until Wednesday. And there's no sign of it going positive after that, although the temperature is going up. From my perspective, this means that the Russians will be able to conduct their offensives that they have been pushing out as both their trainings in Belarus as well as in Russia itself have all finished. And at the same time, we see that the ground is going to become sturdy and hard, which means that the mechanized units can travel throughout the front line easily. That's going to be all for this update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.